hey it's me again yeah we're going in for part two whereby we are going to make we are going to visual studio the part two side of client server chat room so as we go we ended doing last things on the server side so now we are going on the client side so the current side has the login form the main css for public chat and the private chat form even the programming codes for the for the server side for the client side so let's start with the login form so the login form let me run it yeah this is the login form whereby it has the user entry username entry then the password entry and uh, it has some hidden features here just because it's in white and it's under material design so those features are not seen so let me try to run the server side so that you can see that that label for my for the login page so so all this is material design that makes everything look good and clear so guys please subscribe subscribe for this page there is much more coming there is much more to learn I need you guys to learn more 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 and this is not the list we have we, have, we do we do a lot of things we do Wi-Fi mobile phone Wi-Fi cracking all that shit on mobile phones and also computers internet repair everything so this is what I was telling you like there's a difference between this form and this one so this is material design I use the dark the dark skin for the wind the, this form and it shows these doubles we are missing so these doubles are here but this white color is making them to disappear but they are here as you see this one so let me end and we go to the code side yeah. so we're going to the code side for this application let's view the code so we used material design as I told you in the previous video we use material design now how you can put how you can install material design to your visual b video studio code into your video studio then use system then the tell the namespace was tell me client all this part of material design so the username string uh the label this is an these are it has some references as you see the label please enter we have this one the username has some references if good if the logins is logged in it is much here it is under the program under the main eh? okay then the set name as a flag uh public username text change all this all this yeah let's go ahead so let me go back to the form design and we see how we named this one i gave it a name it is a a text username this one is a user username the one for password says so a name and the button it is a button connect so this a username so I haven't programmed it but at least can make a difference and this the username and the password so this is done with the with the login form so let's go to the next form for the public chat which is the main CSS
yeah the main css has the connection button so we got the connection button and find it is called connect button by button connect and the dark slate gray all that so we have some labels the chat label two I have this one label one and you have the list box which is called the client list we have the text chat it is a, a text view which is called the text chat we have the text send for for text sending so i called it text input we have the attachment and i gave it a button one we have the sending button i gave it text button send so we have the context menu so the context menu to remain that the name with this context context menu strip and under the context menu i named this first line as a private chat so it's a private chat and here it's a private chat tool as you see private chat tool strip menu item so we had the folder folder dialog it is here the name remained the open dialog is for the attachment button and the file save file dialog for the attachment button so so let's dig into the code so we used material skin genetic collection genetic and component model drawings io all these the now project so tell me client this is material skin form windows form but and material skin republic we don't mean material skin manager and material skin manager is equal to material skin manager dot instance so public so public tcp clients client socket public network stream server stream equals default and threading string name equals null dictionary stay the same so we continue let me try to enable this button i don't know yeah let me leave it the way it was i'm the one who disabled it just because i had something to do with it uh all this chat mm, set name to set the title on the on the bar of the form this is for material skin user get all this screen and slowly server stream list null then the message box should ask to show you have been disconnected for in case the client disconnected from the all from the server and all this you have to write this code my friends and try out and read on with data we have some cases here for inputs like uh, no, not inputs like these are rules eh? rules so we use the cases instead of if the conditions yeah so if there has a condition it has a condition you have to connect again this one is invoked to write and receive data trade the receive data expectation public void message control slowly text chat so that is equal to that one as you remember text chat is the other other big text format the other text box there eh? then public mind closing do you want to exist yeah this message this message is always it's all it's all that it's all right there the message uh, uh when you want to disable the client so it comes uh sledding if else all this cancel if we because true then the public the, for the private chat here public chat public void manage private chat invoke 
try to read the new data see over the private chat so we're chatting privately all these will be seen under the that part so as the application opens the form for chat and also opens another form for chat for the other chat to run so object.array calls stream convert stream formatter here we convert the same data mm, and send so yeah converting received data and sending received the converting the send received data for sending the received data brian socket here it's where it's true or false mm. Mm, yeah they go in ahead so brian socket whether the client is connected whether the client is connected and closes threads we have the indicator that black color equals green black color equals true so black color indicates and indicators black color equals red so we have the console right line um, public stream menu so let's go back the indicator uh, the, uh, the indicator let's go back the indicator as we do it slowly so the indicator is here it is here on it is here so the indicator we called it he called it the indicator and he has no yeah it is all then you can get it from this side so let's go back the code as when they are the indicator so this one public stream this this one public stream it is here after clicking here you get the public the stream for the message it is here as a name this one so let's go back client name all this and you need to type all this in case you get some problems comment i will find the way to help you or send you some code so i will let me guess i'll put some snip chat some snip codes my yeah to my uh, to my youtube channel for you guys to see so it is here everything should be clear and written as it was written so don't ex don't change anything unless you are adding something that is more of this so you can change in colors but don't change the code the codes for the clients and the server connections so you move server message board server non connected public all that in this one's public list it is on the main design where there is a list box any put that you know that for sending message uh, button send it has it has this all and the expectation which is button enabled because true um, the contact menu was under the design form as the background we had no background run but when you get these things these ones they run background in the background form so let's continue private board chat button text all this open dialog this one's for files eh? these are for files sending files and text so it's good so we are done with the client public chat let's go in for the private chat so the private chat is a simple form whereby it has the text view the text box the text box 
here but you can also enable which is called text chat so this text box can be uh, to put this scroll button you go to let's let me look for scroll buttons yeah it is here vertical you can either you can put vertical most of them for what that are horizontal you put horizontal but we are chatting moving downwards so the scroll button will move will go on decreasing as you continue chatting so you can retrieve your messages back and you have the text input you get yeah it is text p input the button which is button send and the same colors of gray which is dark slate gray so let's go to the code so under this we have all this as i explained before so the material design it is here i told you material design helps us in design in their fight in the first part of the video during the server side all this you have to make this your name like in a way you can get it so public thing get friend read return this friend get history return the story return the chat on text box then set history message all this then we have public chat form initializing the server is connected what create material skin manager and add the form here yeah, i told you that mm, by array converting messages into sent data to the same that serialize and buttons click send it has the input dot text equals now or now which is nothing's there and chat dot clear chat add the picture chat add friend chat add my name chat add p text dot text so also yet converts to arrays then stream right line it invokes right data to the chat text and the new environment then there's expectation then we get the mail to get the messages public stick here it works let me remove this you know why yeah uh, <laughs> there's a reason why we enabled it but I, I think Yeah, I just made it like that way because I found it not working the way as I expected it. So let me do also this. Yeah. So the message string closing button oh, what's this going on let me show this yeah that's how it's supposed to be yeah yeah if this because that then else is this one client left mm, all this so you continue digging in we are in the public by private chat so the brilliant for true or false is here the blue part mm, private chat private vote chat text you have another chat text box you have this chat selection start to the length and input you have nothing but you have the difference this one should be within your project so let's end this and we go to the 
programs yes for the client for the staff for the client side so the program says is this one as usual we have the summaries you have the brilliant login form is you got new login login form dot f login is got new login form so brilliant flag equals true so if this one shows then this is the result if if this one equals null then this one flag is false so it means that we will see it so as we go in f f login sb for the label the one we did in the server it's here and the one we did in the main cs yeah it is here then this is then else application dot exist it's nice so i'm going to try to run this and show you how it works So let me run the client side first. Then I'll go into my folders. And run the server side. So with the application is here. This is the server side. So I start the server. I log in. Done. Banabas. Log in. As you see it here. So I connect. This is the indicator. You see how it shows. This is also here. So I want to run another another client. So let me go back to the folder for no 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 the client. So let me call this one. YouTube connect let's continue and put another server in called subscribe my channel login then I connect so as you see the difference the different clients here the client 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 this is the client banner bus this is the client YouTube this is the client subscribe my channel and this is the server so everything clients are seen under this list so let's try to send messages let me write a message I'm still subscribe to my channel you send a message hello hey hello class you see everyone sees the messages even the server sees the messages and even this one can send messages youtube friends They receive then let me check this one banner by sending who is this chatting so active and send so even a client can decide to send a message to a specific key. Many server can decide to send a message to a specific client. Let me say I'm sending a message to Ban. So I'll send hello. Ban. 
to see Admin Hello Pan. Then let me send it to YouTube. Hello friend. You see Admin sends to Hello friend. Let me send it to subscribe my channel. Thanks. Hello thanks. You see it comes but they don't different messages. So I can decide to chat privately with YouTube. Where's YouTube? Let me let me let me let me chat privately with this one. The subscribe my channel. So first it comes then I send a message. Hello. Hello there. I don't know why. Uh, let me send it the again. There's an unhealer, but I, I'm working it out. I'm working it out. I'm working it out for an error. I don't know why it's not sending. I don't know why it's not sending, but I expect it to send some message. Yeah, it is here. It is. It brought some hidden privately chatting with my channel subscribe my channel privately chatting with Manaba so all these are here they've been sending each other privately so when you try to open the private chat it will open the private chat in the other ones in the other one is chat like the other one is for windows form so this works when you're connected so let me, let me end all this we go to other so guys thank you for watching please give me more motivation by subscribing to my youtube channel yeah i'm glad to have you so i'll be bringing more projects bigger than this all these projects will be good teach you how to use hacking tools like linux all this will be good so let me end this so please subscribe to my channel.